So you might have seen the Elite 8 Budget Bangers Shootout, and you might have got sad that your favorite sub lost. So today, friends, we are doing a loser's bracket. We're going to have the Death Bonds Machete, the Pioneer Champion Series, the SCAR SDR12, and the Rockford Fosgate Prime R2 D2 12. And we're going to see what is the best loser sub from the Elite 8 Budget Banger bracket. So without further ado, let's get started. This will be a fairly straightforward video. We're first gonna listen to the subwoofers, kinda check them out. Then we're gonna do an SPL burp test. Then I'm gonna come back with my final thoughts and kinda tell you which one I thought was best overall. And I'll kinda give you the positives and negatives of each subwoofer. We're going to start with the SCAR SDR. It's currently listed on Amazon for $105. It has a 600 watt RMS rating and a two and a half inch voice coil. Next up is the Rockford Fosgate Prime R2-D2-12. It is listed for $99, has a 2-inch voice coil, and is rated for 250 watts RMS. Next up is the Death Bounce Machete ML12R. This has a 2 inch voice coil. It is rated for 500 watts RMS and currently costs $90. Thank <laughs> you. 
last but certainly not least is the Pioneer Champion 12. It has a listed price of $87. It is rated for 500 watts RMS. It does not have a voice coil size listed, but I believe it is one and three quarters of an inch. Before I get into my final thoughts, I do have a few corrections. One of them is the Deathbonce ML12R, which is what I have, is $90, not $75. I was incorrectly looking at the MLS model. Also, the SCAR SDR12 can be found on SCAR's website for $85, and it is listed on Amazon right now for $105, so there's a little confusion there. With that being said, my rankings from 1 to 4 all stand true. I believe the same exact thing, even with the slight price change. All right, you've got to check out all the subwoofers. What did you think about them? I'm going to give you my picks right now. So I think far and away, the clear winner in this video is the Death Bounce Machete 12. I think it is literally the best all-around subwoofer in this group. It got as loud as the Pioneer. Of course, it had a little bit more power. It's a pretty nice sounding subwoofer. So overall pick, even if these were all $100 and the exact same price, I think if I had to pick and I wanted to kind of get the best of both worlds, I would definitely go with the Defbonce Machete. That being said, what do the other subs bring to the table? So at current price, the Rockford Fosgate Prime 12 is $99. That is, you know, towards the top of the list as far as price. It was the quietest of the bunch, which is expected. But what I will tell you is I think it is the best sounding subwoofer out of this group of four. And uh, it just, it's a really nice sounding sub. It performs admirably. It took a lot of power. We threw a thousand watts at it and uh, it did okay. It did not go slinky. So that is something in its own right. The Pioneer is the second cheapest on the list at $87. And I know I gave this Pioneer a really tough time in the first video, but it was up against some really tough competition. So I think the Pioneer is still probably the worst for sound quality out of these four, but the highlight of the Pioneer is it got as loud as the Defbonce on literally half the power. There was a mistake when they shipped it. I covered this in the budget bangers, but I wanted a D2, got a D4. So we were running the SoundCube 3000 at eight ohms, so around 500 watts, yet it still got as loud as the Defbonce. So that impressed me at this price point. It's a very efficient sub, and if you're already leaning towards the Pioneer, I think it will serve you well and you'll be able to maybe get a little more out of less power. So wrapping that up, we have the SCAR SDR-12. The subwoofer, I think, sounds pretty good. It performs well. It's a pretty good overall sub, but in this case, I think it kind of landed itself in last place simply because of the current price. So my rankings from one to four on these, 
the Deathmont's Machete number one. The, the second is tough. The second is really, really tough, but I'm going to go ahead and give it to the Pioneer Champion because it performed very well. It's a very efficient sub. It got pretty loud. It did not sound as good as the number three pick, which is the Rockford Fosgate Prime 12. And the Rockford Fosgate Prime 12 is on this list a quote-unquote more expensive sub at $99, but overall in the grand scheme of things, $99 is nothing for a 12 inch sub. And this one performed admirably and sounded great doing it. And going in at fourth place, unfortunately is the SCAR SDR 12. And that's not to say that I don't like this sub at the current price of $105. I think it just didn't stack up in this comparison here. Now, you could certainly put the SCAR SDR-12 above the Rockford Fosgate Prime if you wanted to. If you wanted more output, I would certainly consider that over the Prime. But if your goal is more of a nice sound, you're probably going to lean towards the Prime. So with all that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you are subscribed, hit that thumbs up and uh, let me know what you think about these subwoofers in the comments below. And I will catch every single one of you on the next video. I'd like to thank all my Patreon supporters, but the six star or more members get a special shout out. And that is 2001 Monolithic, Gene Nava, Joaquin Juarez, El Fuego Audio, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, Box Boy Audio Sound Solutions, Jesus Tires, Dennis Cromwell Jr., Scott Dilbeck, D. Stewart, David Koslick, Scott McCord, Matthew Tolberg, Cornet, Trucker 9000, Bobby Burkett, Kevin Lautner, James Childers, Baba, Thomas Marshall, Living Loud with Andy, and Neil Nato. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the Patreon team and get exclusive Patreon-only content, including a monthly Patreon-only hangout stream. It's a really good time. You guys are missing out. And if you want to join, check me out at patreon.com slash high five Vega.